everyone welcome back the et5 could be the next neo model to enter europe after the et7 now this is some of the latest news that i have to deliver to you that is regarding with neo now neo will roll out the other models in europe including the et7 and the et5 sedans starting this year so as that was reporting it was citing the company's co-founder and president queen luhang in a phone interview now, Quinn and William Lee, the company's founder, CEO, and chairman are currently in Germany, potentially preparing the company for a major event. Now, it's just the two runners on track. Quinn said, according to the report, if you have a great lead, you just need to keep your own pace. Now, there wasn't much information provided on the ET5, but it seems quite unlikely that the model will be offered in Europe starting this year given its current popularity in China and a long weighted list. And there is indeed a very long waiting list. So Neo unveiled the ET5 and began accepting reservation Neo Day 2021 late last year. The company began allowing consumers to lock their order on September the 9th and close the reservation channel. Deposit paid by consumers before September 9th are refundable at any time and deposits made after that date are non-refundable. Now, first deliveries of the ET5 are expected on September 30th, and Lee said in September the 7th, second quarter earning call that NEO is well positioned to deliver more than 10,000 ET5s in a single month in December, with a higher internal target. Now, NEO ET5 is being produced in the company's second plant in NEO Park in Hefei, Anhu province, and NEO announced last week that it had completed employees training for the model. Now on September 16, NEO began displaying expected delivery lead times for all models on their mobile app and for Chinese consumers ordering the ET5 now. They can expect delivery in 21 to 23 weeks after locking in their orders. So that is still a huge wait time. Now, Neo's flagship sedan, that'd be the ET7, has a slightly shorter wait time in China, though it does have 11 to 13 weeks. That is still quite major. But for electric vehicles that are high in demand and low in supply, yes, that is rather a good improvement. Now, the company sent the first batch of ET7 sedans to, to Europe via ships last month, some of which have already appeared across Europe, and its deliveries there will begin in the fourth quarter. Now, Neo currently has three models based on the NT 1.0 platform, that would be the ES8, ES6, and EC6, and three models based on the NT 2.0 platform, that's the ES7, ET7, and ET5. Now, if you are curious about their latest platform, that would be the NT 2.0. Now, for the past year, NEO has been experimenting with battery leasing and swapping in Norway for its ES8. The company has sold 800 of the SUV and, and installed two swap stations in Norway, the router reported today. Now, the amazing thing is that NEO is obviously going out into Europe. They're establishing and they are reaching out. They are making a huge footprint. And just to express even more how NEO is expanding, they're also expanding with a new NEO house that is located in Amsterdam in the Canal district of Ams. It is a Suntory old building and the tallest building in the Canal district. The surrounding area is very prosperous and it's expected to open in the second half of next year. So this is the building right now currently under reservation or construction. I'd say reservation because it's already been, it's a really old building so they kind of need to just reconstruct it. By the way, this is another Neo house somewhere in Europe and it just looks absolutely stunning. This is not the one in Denmark, this is another one. It could be in Germany but it does look super beautiful. Now before we end this video, I'd like to go for a few numbers just to reflect on what NEO accomplished last year and what they could hope to accomplish this year. Keep in mind that NEO is still a fairly new company within the last two, three, four years. And it's only recently that they started to branch out into Europe, which is a great step.
Neo delivered just over 10,000 and a half vehicles in December 2021. That was an increase by 49.7%, almost a 50% increase. Additionally, Neo delivered 25,000 vehicles in three months, ended December 2021. That's the fourth quarter of last year. This was a 44.3% increase. So essentially, they delivered a quarter of 100,000 cars in only three months. That's rather impressive. And throughout the entirety of the year, they delivered 91,000 vehicles. Just over 91,000 in fact in 2021 in total. And that was a 109.1% increase. 109% increase. This essentially means that back in 2020, they delivered just around 45,000 cars. Despite the fact that there was a global pandemic happening in 2020. Let's not forget. So the question is this year, the huge question, can Neo build and deliver over 100,000 cars by the end of this year, in one year? This will be a huge moment for Neo, a huge accomplishment, and they'll probably end up delivering at least 110,000 to 115,000, if not more. This is based on their year-over-year -year growth. It's been astonishing to see so far. Now remember to leave a like to let me know if you disagree or if you agree with what I have to say. So thank you for watching this video, subscribe to see more, and of course I'll see you in our next video.